Hello guys, welcome back. This is Modern Man here today playing another new deck to the channel. It is, uh, I'm calling it Turn 3 Red or Turn 2 Red rather. The point of this deck is to uh, make a bunch of mana with Infernal Plunge. Um, where's the other one? Battle him. And then cast cards like Reckless Bushwhacker, which are Mog War Marshals, and Haze of Rage. Uh, two mana, give your creature, creatures you control get plus one, plus oh, into a turn with buyback of two. So you just play a bunch of spells in the same turn, build up with your Ornithopters, your Memnites, uh, make a bunch of mana, and get your opponent, really. Uh, make a bunch of tokens. Have four Bushwhackers, four Reckless, or four Goblin Bushwhackers, four Reckless Bushwhackers. This deck is also a very cheap deck, uh, minus the Simeon Spirit Guides. But with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, jump right into a game and let's see if we can win with this deck. I know it's a bit of a brew, but, you know, you never know. I know you guys like to see brews. You guys don't like to um, see the same main decks all the time. But let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, we won the die rolls. So we get to play first, which is good. This hand on... I don't know how I feel about this. This hand's good if we draw, like, a Midnight. We have a lot of potential. I don't know. Yeah, I think we'll try it. I don't think it's awful. It's definitely not great, but it's not awful. Uslog, huh? Oslog? Is that your name if you're watching my video? Probably not. Probably not watching my video. But if you are, welcome to the channel, Oslog. I like it. Play Mountain Pass turn. Can't really do much yet. Next turn we could play like Mog War Marshal, I think. That's what we're gonna play. Huh. Maybe Dragon Fodder. Oh, we got a we got a person with stops. We got a person with the stops. Hmm. If you guys like this content, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. I'd so like to remind you guys of every video of doing that. We have had a recent spike in uh, video likes. And I really appreciate it. Ooh, Aether Vial, huh? Probably playing against Fish. El Merfolk. Huh. Okay, battle him. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. I want to play Mog Marshall, or do I want to play Dragon Fodder? I think they do the same thing. Um, let's just play the War Marshal. Play it a little slow this game. I hate how it does this. Put Storm Count up there. I don't know if your opponent can see it. But letting my opponent know that I have Storm Cards in my deck before I play them, it's a little annoying. Let me know down below if you guys know whether it shows your opponent or not. But with, um, next turn, we'll probably play the Echo Cost. And... Huh, depends on what we draw. If we draw, like, a uh, Smuggler's Copter, okay. So they might have a Curse Catcher in their hand. Just something to beware of. I would like to pay its pay Echo. For another War Marshal, huh? Play that. I think I'll just attack with the... Well, no, if they have a Curse Catcher, they can Curse Catcher, Crew the Smuggler's Copter, block. I'm not very interested in that happening. That's fine. We're just not going to attack. Pass the turn. Okay, there's the Aether Vial. Sure. And there's the Curse Catcher. Okay. So it is there. Hmm, what is our good draw? Uh, Haze of Rage would be pretty good. Um, we're not really any, 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 under any pressure, if I could speak English. That would be good. <sighs> so, what are we afraid of here? I guess Spreading Seas would be kind of annoying. Not awful, though. We could actually do it next turn, I think. No, we can't. I have a Curse Catcher. I think we could do it next turn if we drew an artifact, because we could go put all the rebirth, battle him for five. Um, like dragon fodder, bushwhacker. But being that they have curse catcher, everything our first 
our important instance sorceries we can consider they cost one extra when doing our math spreading seeds draws my opponent's card just floated a mana just to psych him out a little bit Just look at Lorwyn art, man. I just want you guys to appreciate Lorwyn block, Shadowmore block, whatever. Lorwyn, Shadowmore, Morning Tide, and Eventide. Those are the best arts. We got Lord of Atlantis. Sure. Crew up the copter, attack for five. Yep. Seeing this coming. Sure. That's fine. We don't have anything. We don't have really interactive spells in the deck. But if you guys are looking for a budget deck, this deck's pretty cheap. I think it's like probably less than 20 ticks. Probably the same goes for the price as well. And Glacial Fortress, oh, playing against Blue White Merfolk, huh? Sure, we'll take 5, go to 15. Signal Pest. I like that one. Um, so let's go ahead and play the Pest. Play Dragon Fodder? Oh no, they could sacrifice their Curse Catcher. I did that backwards. Um, should I play Mog War Marshal, another one? Uh, of course there's a train. Why wouldn't there be a train while I'm recording? At least once a day. Let's go ahead and attack. They don't have any blockers, I don't think. Opponent takes two, falls to 18. Go ahead and pass the turn. What do you have here? What am I afraid of? That's the question. I don't think they I don't think fish can deal 15 damage in one turn. That would be unfortunate if they could. Like, they could activate their Muta Vault, Aether Vial something in, crew up the Smuggler's Copter, and that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that is what they're doing. Nine, ten if it's another Lord, which it is. Actually, that's a lot more. It's three, six, ten, thirteen. Okay. Well, if they attack with everything, they might actually just be dead. Attack him with everything. Okay, sure. So now you get to see what this deck can do. If we draw a Haze of Rage, this is fantastic. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take five. Or how much ever that is, three, six. Or two. I do not want to pay Echo. Get another Goblin. It's going to have haste anyways from the Bushwhacker. It's basically a dead draw. So this will represent... If I play it this way, it represents 6 damage. But if I keep Signal Pest in play, it represents 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're just going to keep it in play. We're going to lead with Battle Him. Hope they don't have a counter spell. Okay, Resolves. Go with Dragon Fodder next. I may have misplayed there. I should have maybe I should have played just the Bushwhacker there. I don't know if it would have been enough. Would have protected me against Mana Leak if they have it. Okay, give all my guys plus one, plus one, plus oh, plus oh, and ha plus one, plus oh, and haste. And yep, that's fine. Hopefully, I don't have a vapor snag for the signal pest. Tackle all the homies. Five, six, seven. So if I deal less than seven or over seven damage, I didn't need to play the bushwhacker. That's how I figure it up. Or I didn't need to play the Dragon Fodder. Mm -hmm. A good opponent, do you mind? So that's three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 19, 22. And a vapor snail. Oh, you forgot to do it pre combat, huh? I'm at one life. That's awkward. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we made the right play there. Oh, there was a Hazer Rage, too? Interesting. Sure. Okay. So against fish. Kind of like outnumber. Outnumber deals damage to target creature equal to the number of creatures I control. But I don't know what I would cut for it. I feel like this is good against like the death and taxes decks where you can't like interact with their spells. Because they're making your spells cost more. Massive raid's not great. Sudden shocks and also not great. Let's try it like this. I don't think we need. We just need to be wary of their counter spells and their curse catchers. But as far as I know, the only card that costs money in this deck is like Simon Spirit Guide. So that's why I think it's a budget deck. And these guys, I think they're like three ticks online. They're probably a little bit more in paper. Opponent chooses to play first. Ugh. Now this hand, four lands is a little rough. We only have 15 lands in the deck. And we somehow always get three or more. It's questionable. Um, yeah, this is probably a mulligan. Oh my god. Uh, mulligan. <laughs> Mulligan. Yeah, whatever. I mean, this hand's not great, but we have spells. Uh, I don't need another land. Probably just going to die this game, so hopefully our opponent can kill us fast. That's crazy that we've seen four lands, four lands, zero lands. Eighth of Island, one. That's a good one. Battle him, doesn't really do anything. Fast turn. I mean, maybe we threaten like eight damage. That's not enough, though. We need to string some good spells together. I mean, we're getting there. This hand's not awful. We need to draw like an artifact. And then like Haze of Rage would be fine. Oh, well, no, I don't know if I have mana for Haze of Rage. Opponent reveals another Silver Gale Adept for their Silver Gale Adept. There's the Haze of Rage. Okay, well. Now we need to draw an artifact. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Five spells. It's not bad. Aether Vial, sure. You're going to cast the Silver Gill Adept? So that must mean you have another two drop off your Aether Vial. Tide Binder Mage. Sure. That's fine. We did Mold of Four and everything. I guess that's only four because we're going to have to exile the spirit guide for mana. Take two, go to 18. Good thing is we're not under a huge amount of pressure here. Another battle hymn's fine. So we really need to draw that artifact so we can go artifact. Cold author. Oh, we need a land too, huh? I didn't think about that. Okay, hopefully they don't have a bunch of lords in their hand. So we go artifact land, play our land, pass turn, draw the artifact, play the artifact, cut off the rebirth, battle him, battle him. That'll give us four mana. Two, and then this. That's not great. We only have four dudes that way. I think that's our only out, though. Another cold off the rebirth, huh? That's not great either. Still not the card we were looking for. Well, opponent keeping up their tide binder mage. Good play there. We might just be dead here if they have lords. If they have two lords, that's what, four, eight, twelve? Yeah, we are dead if they have two lords. One other card is a tide binder mage, so 
There's the meter vault. Still dead next turn. Three equaled off the rebirths, huh? It's uh, interesting. Well, let's go ahead and scoop it up and jump to game three. Huh. Okay. Well, mulling the four is apparently not great for this deck. And I really don't think I need to change anything. So, we'll run it back like this. Didn't really see any sideboard cards for opponent from our opponent, unfortunately. But, it is what it is. What have you guys been up to recently? I'd like to know. You know, I like to keep uh, in contact with you guys. You guys have been around forever. I would like to play first. Oh, is this hand good? This hand's alright. So we got Mimnite, Ornithopter, Infernal Plunge, 3 mana, go to dudes. I can get my opponent for a bunch on turn 1. I'll keep it. Probably wait. No, they're going to 6. Okay. I think any card makes this hand better, so I don't think I'm going to go for it just yet. Uh, we'll just play Mountain and Pass. So, what are we looking to draw? Another Kodolta Rebirth would be good. Well, actually, no, no, no. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Had to do some math. Mog War Marshal, that card's pretty good. So, we go Memnite. Or let's go Ornithopter, Sack it to add three mana. Um, play the Memnite. Cut off the Rebirth of the Memnite. So I have two mana. Dudes. Um, I think we'll wait one more turn. I could Infernal Plunge the Mog War Marshal if I needed to. Huh. Interesting. Another Mutavolt. What do you have? A Ratchet Bomb? Oh, Animate the Mutavolt. Sure. That's fine. If that's what you're going to start doing, that's fine. You don't have any blockers then. Oh, uh, Haze of Rage or another Bushwhacker. Would be good. Mountain. I don't know if that's the greatest. So, let's say... Memnite, Ornithopter, Sack Ornithopter for three mm -hmm. for three dudes. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're five damage off, I believe. Could keep waiting. Our hand's not great. I guess I could just put him out there to make him have to block. I think that's what I'll do next turn. Cavern on Merfolk. It's fine. You still don't have any actual blue mana, so I'm not afraid. Smuggler's Copter. Sure. Don't play a Curse Catcher. Okay. This is the turn. That's a pretty good draw. Ornithopter. Mimnite. Cloth of Reaper. Actually, let's lead with Infernal Plunge. Infernal Plunge, the... No, let's not lead with Infernal Plunge. Let's go Rebirth on the Ornithopter. Make dudes. We have like a Disrupting Shoal. Okay, so we have four there. Mm -hmm. I want to Infernal Pledge a Goblin. Mm -hmm. Let's cast Infernal Plunge, Sacrifice, Mim Knight. Three red. Play Mog War Marshal. Go to one red. Uh, 
Oh, I miscounted. Oh, well. Uh, Infernal Plunge, the Mog War Marshal. Get another dude. Cast Bushwhacker. Let me know if I misplayed there. I'm not 100% sure. Thought I had enough mana to play all of it, but apparently not. Attack with all the dudes. One falls to eight. Which goblin you like better? This one or this one? I like this one. Hmm. I wonder what we're going to draw. Maybe we should have waited one more turn. They don't have blue mana still, but now they got a smuggler's copter active. They can block, block, take four, go to four. Oh, they got three Mutavolt, huh? Interesting. Another rebirth. That's what I was afraid of drawing. Um, let's go ahead and cast another war marshal. Start building up again. Pass turn. No reason to attack. Well, maybe. Hold on. They got two blockers. So they block here, block here, take four, go to four. Two of my dudes die. And then they have two blockers again. That's five, six, seven, eight. Lose two, go to six. Yeah, I mean, if they don't have a dude, they're dead. They can block, block, with Mutavolt, Mutavolt block, block, block. Animative Smuggler's Copter, block Bushwhacker, Mutavolt block a Goblin. Draw a discard. Go to four. Yeah. Let's see what you got. I mean, you got to have something else. You got to have a dude. That costs one mana, I believe. So you gotta have a curse catcher. What are you discarding, opponent? Did you find your blue mana? What are you going to discard, opponent? Are you just dead? Discard is another copter. Okay, yeah, that doesn't do anything. Opponent's a four. It has to be a curse catcher. Right? No, I guess it can be a silver gill adept. Any two customer folk. Or three customer folk. Still no actual blue mana, though. Lord of Atlantis is fine. Anime, yeah. So. No, no, they gotta have. Yeah, it had to be so they can make Mutavolt a dude. Crew this, but then they don't have a way to kill another dude. See, I think I win the game still. Uh, Rec or Goblin Bushwhacker wins me the game here as well. We well, got a pony. You just dead. Oh, and that's it. We won the game. We beat Merfolk with turn two red, turn three red, whatever you would like to call it. Um, but as always, guys, if you like this content, remember to smash that thumbs up button. Really appreciate it. Helps me and the channel out. Comment down below with any deck suggestions, play suggestions. I think I might have hiccuped a little bit there. Let me know down below. Also, remember to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook page. Or email me if you just want to talk. All of those links will be in the description below. Remember to subscribe to the channel so you can see more awesome content like this on a daily basis. And I hope you guys have a good night. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.